This time for your artist trading card, you can try crayon resist. So you want to use a waxy crayon and then paint over the top so the paint won't stick to the wax. And it's super fun to experiment and just go ahead and try drawing different things and, and trying different colors with your paint and see what you come up with. For your crayon resist, you'll need your blank paper, different colors of crayon, and your watercolor paint, brush, and water. Okay, for today with our artist trading cards, let's play around with crayon resist. So using uh, just regular waxy crayons, and wherever you put the wax, the paint will not stick to it. So it, it's fun. Maybe you just want to start with a crazy design. So as artists, you want to do a lot of practicing, a lot of experimenting, where you're not thinking about the, you know, the outcome of your artwork. Um, always, sometimes we do. We, we want to make a particular drawing or painting for somebody, or you know it's going to go on a wall, or maybe it's going to go into a gallery show. And other times, we just need to practice just like somebody that's an author or writer would practice uh, the storylines, trying ideas, testing ideas. All right, uh, let's see. Um, I have a red and green, so let me go with a dark color. I'm gonna go with a violet here. Let's go over the top. So you can see how that resists the crayon below it, which is really really fun to play with. I get to see those colors kind of light up with that violet. Let's try another one. When I look out my window in my backyard I see a yellow rose bush. Let me just kind of just maybe make a stylized rose here quickly. I'm using watercolor paper and it's bumpy so I'm gonna want to press hard. But I don't want to color in the whole thing. I, I want to leave some space in between that rose. Maybe I want a, a stem, maybe a stylized leaf or two. So to make a leaf, you just make kind of an arc like that and then close it on the other side. I can decide if I want to maybe add a, another green, give it some more interest. Maybe I want to leave some of the, the white showing in there too, so it, it will resist the paint color. Now, what should I do? Hmm. I could do the basic blue background. Um, you, you can experiment and play around with how you want that to turn out. So let's try. Okay, you've got the idea. Uh, you saw that I had a couple helpful hints, like maybe you want to tape your work down so it doesn't slide around, and it'll also help it uh, not buckle. Um, you know, at this point, you should just get your crayons out and practice making shapes and try different color combinations together and see what you come up with. Lastly, if you read the cover sheet at the very start of this video, you can see that I referenced um, an excellent unit on color on the Khan Academy. So go to the Khan Academy and look under partners, and then you'll find a unit on color. So if you watch that unit, I'd love to know what you think. All right, good luck and send me a photo of your work.